Okay, so quick update on my research on how max for life stuff is working on the push 3 in standalone mode. So I have two very different experiences here. One is a very simple device of mine, which is the simple step sequence. And it's just, you can select um, a sequence here, different note sequence, you can select how many steps you want. And then you can trigger via one note, you can trigger a different um, sequence here step by step so this is working quite well so c minus two is my note input and i have can select how many steps i would like the uh, audio is coming via headphones at the moment sorry for the quality but you should be able to hear that and i can select the different parameters so for example if i want to select a different scale here so this is working quite well. As soon as uh, things are getting a little bit deeper, so for example, I have something on here, which is my um, synced pitch trigger device, which is sending over um, like chord information from a MIDI clip via a virtual pipe to this device here where I trigger this. So I have those chords, which are being played MIDI clip chords into an instrument and um, those chords are being sent over to this device here and I can trigger the actual chords or notes which I hold down. By a MIDI input. So if I try to load this one on here, so I have the set, um, which is quite nice. Um, sets are being transferred via Wi-Fi, so that's good and quite easy. Um, I don't want to save anything here, so if I try to load this set on the push, you can see what's happening. Bomb, it's crashing. And even if I uh, trying to resolve this and try to reload this, this is not working. So a little warning here would be great um, on like stuff not working. And I understand that there are a few things in here which are actually not like deep, 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 but still um, it's a little bit more complex. Um, and yes, it has some nice UI objects here for the notes view, for example. So I'm guessing that this one is the one which is um, leading to the crash here, but I don't know as Ableton hasn't released any information here. So my first consumption would be stuff is possible to a very limited, but still um, to some really cool things which could be done via Max for Life on Push 3. But as soon as you go a little bit more complex, um, things will be <laughs> very complicated to achieve and it will need some trial and error. And I hope Ableton will release some info soon um, on objects to use or not to use. It would be nice to get some sort of warning uh, when you patch stuff in Max for Life so you would know what will work and what won't. So you don't spend time on developing stuff for all the push three in standalone mode, which will then crash.